Mary Debbie has been busy representing Hiram in our county and in our community. She's a member of the Paulding County Chamber of Commerce Board, Paulding County Industrial Building Authority, Paulding County Airport Authority, and works with a number of nonprofit community service oriented organizations. She is also currently serving on the Paulding Air Show Events Committee. The citizens of Hiram and Paulding County are very fortunate to have Mayor Debbie. She's a committed person bringing a better quality of life to all residents in Hiram and Paulding County. It's my privilege and honor to introduce you to the Mayor of the City of Hiram, the Honorable Doris Debbie. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm not a public speaker. We're going to have a great PowerPoint presentation for everybody to watch. And I'm going to be the narrator of it. <laughs> okay, so please bear with me. Glasses. Good afternoon. I've had a lot of firsts these last past eight months since being elected mayor of the city of Hiram. But I think this one tops it. I told David Austin many times that I'm not a, not a public speaker, and he told me, you are now. <laughs> so please bear with me on my first real public speaking. First, I would like to thank you for allowing me this opportunity to speak on behalf of the city of Hiram. I want to thank Georgia Power, our great team at the Paulding Chamber, for their call, because they always go above and beyond what they need to do. Thank you and also BJ's Trucking for helping sponsoring this luncheon. So, who and what is the city of Hiram? It is no longer the little city by the tracks. Our city may only have a population of approximately 3,500 citizens and may only be approximately three and a half miles, but it provides not only Paulding County, but also parts of Cobb and their citizens a variety of places to shop, dine, and be entertained. With 520 businesses within that three and a half miles, 78 new businesses have opened from September 2011 through September 2012. These businesses have created 566 new positions in the city of Hiram. Academy Sports hired 111 individuals, Popeyes 80, and Aldi with 15. And that number does not include the Wellstar Paulding Hospital project. So being called that little city by the tracks just doesn't fit Hiram anymore. And to say that Hiram has grown would not be a correct statement either. The definition of grown is having completed its growth and we're not done growing. Because, of growth, because growth promotes success, and Hiram is success. So I'd like to share with you some of our department's accomplishments in 2012. In our public safety, first, Chief Yandora. Thank you for everything you do for our public safety officers and everyone in your department. The city of Hiram has been very fortunate for the last two years to have you on board. Thank you. So in our public works department, they have uh, public works, now I'm in public works, back to public safety. Uh, the LPR, we received a license plate recognition reader. We received, we received this through the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council. The cost was $16,800 but with a grant of $10,000 to cover part of it, Splosh was able to pick up the rest. We had a computer system with our records management and once it was updated so the photos can be added to complete case files and a direct link that would link our system to the Paulding County DA's office. And this allows us to be more efficient and be able to give them a lot of different things that are required for cases that are gonna be prosecuted. Uh, our police department has coordinated three traffic safety road checks, and I know some of you in here have been stopped by them. And, uh, sorry about that, but 
it was in cooperation with the governor's office on highway safety, the Georgia State Patrol, the Western Region Traffic Enforcement Network, and Paulding County Sheriff's Department. These results and these events had over 150 traffic citations and over 50 arrests for more serious violations. <laughs> okay, so they put me in jail for a while. We also had a take-home policy vehicle that the city council authorized. And this was allowing our officers to provide better response times in emergencies and better visibility in communities to help prevent crime. The police department had their second successful national night out at Ben Hill Strickland Park and are currently working on their second Citizens Police Academy. We have citizens from Dallas, Austell, and Hiram that are attending this. The police department received grants from our following business partners totaling over $11,000. And this was for our Explorer and Dare programs, which continue to exceed our expectation. And they have partnership with the community and with our schools with this. So thank you to Greystone, Walmart, Paulding Public Safety Appreciation, Target, and Sam's Club. In addition, we have received assistance and equipment allowing us to add to our Police Explorer van and also to other things for our fleet of vehicles. Our police department has joined into Paulding County's new digital trunk radio system allowing for our officers to have better coverage and better communication within Cobb and Paulding. Um, this makes it a much safer environment for our members. <coughs> this project has resulted in the new radio agreement and the formation of a board in which Police Chief Yandura has been voted in as the Vice Chairman. Our Police Department has also remained very active with the Paulding County Domestic Violent Task Force getting involved with the Board of Directors and coordinating a candlelight vigil and sponsor run to assist Shepherd's Rest. The candlelight vigil is scheduled for this Friday tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Ben Hill Strickland Park in Hiram. This vigil will be remembering those women who have lost their lives to domestic violence and also the ones that have survived. Our Chief Yandora sorry, was selected as the chairperson for the domestic tax force and Major O'Neill is the second chair. The, public, uh, the police department continues to provide assistance in coordinating a neighborhood watch program within the city and um, preparing for our third annual business crime awareness program for the holiday season in conjunction with the U.S. Secret Service. Um, our shop with cup. It's in its second year at the city of Hiram and it takes place at Christmas time at our local Target. This program assists less fortunate children to be able to re receive gifts at the holiday season and the program was actually first started at the Sheriff's Department in Paulding County and now has expanded into the city of Hiram. Moving on to our public works. Mr. Jody Palmer is our public works head department um, I want to thank you and your team for all the work that you and your department do, helping the city of Hiram with their parks, the community center, roads, water, plus everything else that ends up on your plate every day. So um, we've begun the necessary steps to construct um, our new Welcome to Hiram sign, which we are really proud of. Um, and it's going to be on Wendy Bagwell Parkway at the county line to include landscaping to more fully embrace the entrance from Cobb County as the primary gateway for Hiram, Dallas, and Paulding County. We have completed several significant stormwater improvement projects along Nebo Road, uh, Fitzgerald Street, and Dallas Street. And we continue to address the stormwater quality, partnering with local businesses. And you, we do this through education, inspection, consultations with these businesses, and attempting to address issues in a collaborative way. We had such an approach that you could see up at the new Academy Sports um, Complex in Hiram. Uh, they did retrofitting, retrofitting of grassland islands in the parking lot. 
And this adds a stormwater, stormwater quality control application, which also leads to a very aesthetic improvement for the shopping center. We have renewed the efforts to improve Ben Hill Strickland Senior Memorial Park in our historical downtown. Both the athletic courts, both basketball and tennis, have been resurfaced. We, it has given it a more modern color and more um, good scheme. We also are beginning the process to replace and upgrade the playground located in the park. With their replacement, the park will grow as an, an even more popular attraction to the surrounding community, which it serves, adding to the quality of life in the area. And also, we <coughs> implemented a position for a park ranger that started, um, I guess, around in September. We also had the filming of the watch neighborhood watch at 855 Bank Building on Highway 92 and they also did some filming on 278. And starring in this movie was Ben Stiller, Ben Spawn, Jonah Hill, and Richard Iowade. So that was exciting. Last year before that they had the filming of Footloose. Um, about our administration department, Miss Cynthia Gogg. Um, She's our city clerk, and I want to thank you for the last 10 months. You stepped up to a position, have gone above what anybody could have asked, and your staff has continued to develop into a first-class operation, and any city would be proud to have them. They have really done a great job, and thank you for being there for me. i got to move on. <laughs> okay, I bring back indoors. <laughs> Hiram is always on the move and participating in every opportunity they have for a strong community development. Our biannual city cleanup day was in April this year with almost 50 volunteers who came out to pick up trash and to help ident identify environmental concerns. Our next cleanup is scheduled for no uh, Saturday, November the 3rd, and we have partnered with Fox Environmental, keeping Paulding beautiful and the River Alive organization to focus on our park at Ben Hill Strickland Senior. Our involvement with the school system has improved greatly over the past two years. We have seen this interest in our youth and in our community as a lasting investment in Hiram and in Paulding County. We really love our Hornets and have tried to step up our participation in the events. Hiram High School's homecoming parade will be on October 17th in historical downtown Hiram and it features the Hornets football, baseball, basketball team, cheerleaders, homecoming court, and um, our junior ROTC color guard, and naturally the Hiram High marching band of gold. There will be other clubs and organizations also participating in this, so we ask you to come out and join us. In other Hornet organizations, we have a great Rotan sports complex for our youth, and they usually do football and you know baseball and cheerleading. And this fall, they just had their homecoming through Hiram, a parade. And the Roartan continues to grow and provide sports activities, like I said, throughout the whole year. And this season, they were able to provide uh, football and cheerleading for 450 young children and youths from Hiram, Paulding County, and believe it or not, even Rockmart. Okay, so additionally, the city of Hiram provided its second Hornets eight-week summer camp. This city, uh, the city executed a very successful summer camp this year for 40 Hiram and Paulding youth. Next year, we're going to continue it in 2013, and we plan to expand it so that more children, hopefully up to 50, can uh, participate in it. One of our community favorites, naturally, is our Christmas tree lighting down in, down in our historical um, downtown. And it's going to be held on Friday night, November the 30th. Um, as I say your names, could you just please stand up? I want to take the time to thank our economic development team in Paulding County. Mr. Jamie Gilbert, he was here, I saw him. He probably is standing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and our economical development representatives from Hiram, Mr. Hugh Smith, 
from We Care MD, which is the business in Hiram, Mr. Jim Croft. Okay, from Croft and Associates. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Appreciate it. They have been incredibly committed to the work of the EDO, and we couldn't have asked for two more capable and devoted representatives for the city of Hiram. Jamie, Hugh, and Jim, we appreciate all your efforts and want you to know that we support you guys and your team 100%. So, who and what is the city of Hiram? It's a city that went to sleep one night and we woke up brand new. New mayor, new form of government, new auditor, new prosecutor, new solicitor, new attorneys, new city manager, and most important, a better frame of mind. The city of Hiram team consists of 24 public safety members, including GCIC, Georgia Crime Information Center, two canine dogs, Diesel and Ivan, seven public work members, one court specialist, four admin members, and as I say your name, would you please stand up? Six elected officials. Mayor Pro Temp Derek Battle, Councilwoman Kathy Bookout, Councilwoman Erlene Graham, Councilwoman Teresa Filiot, who's in the back. Hi, Finley. And not in attendance uh, right now, but Mr. Pep Rollins. Also from our ethics. Also from our ethics board is Ms. Helena Fitzgerald, and we have asked her to come. I want to thank you guys. Thank you. So, a total of 44 individuals working for the betterment of its citizens. So, that is the who of Hiram. And what is Hiram? Hiram is a team. And what is the definition of a team? Team members, one, operate with a high degree of independency. Two, they share authority and responsibility. Three, they are accountable for their performances and actions. And four, they work towards a common goal. A team becomes more than just a collection of people when they all have a strong sense of mutual commitment. And that commitment isn't just to the performance of each individual person, it's the commitment as the whole as a team. So that is the who and the what of the city of Hiram. It is the team. I'd like to thank the city of Hiram's council for its dedication towards moving the city forward. To all the employees who work hard every day, they make the operations go pretty smoothly. To our police officers and GCIC for keeping our roads, businesses, and citizens safe. And to our newest team member, would you please stand up, sir? This is our new city manager, Mr. Robbie Rockovitz. We would like to thank him for his guidance, his knowledge, most of all his patience, along with that sense of humor that makes every day at the city a pleasure to come into work. Thank you again, and until next year, may Paulding County the city of Dallas, the city of Hiram, have continued growth and success. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Debbie.